Hi. How are you doing today? I am about to make something kitchen related for you, uh, but I also have a second theme for this video, which was requested, so I'm gonna do a two-in-one. I think there's a car coming by. Never mind. So, uh, welcome to a visual triggers video. Uh, I am in advance apologizing for the state of my nails, but please, um, I'm sorry, you know, please forgive me for that, because they're going to be close-ups and, you know. Anyway, so, the kitchen-related items that I have today are for visual triggers specifically. Now, the first item that I picked, chopsticks. I love using chopsticks to have food. So I'm just going to be doing some triggers. And that's item number one from the kitchen. The second one is a kind of pair of tongs. Uh, I usually see in videos people having silicone tongs and uh, all I have is this. But it works so well for me, so I was thinking to do some stuff with this. And that's item number two. And the third item is actually something really funny to me. It is a sort of brush made of silicone. And this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like up close. You see, it's really jello-like, you know, the silicone, really flexible. So I'm gonna be brushing your face with this. And um, I have three more items from the kitchen. One is these ancient, because I can't use them anymore, they're ancient. We've had them for a long time in a drawer. Uh, these cupcake holder things. Many of them. And they're so crunchy like. So I'll make sounds with these. I also have a jar of. Hold on. A jar of cinnamon. Which I'll be tapping on and shaking and opening it up and do some cinnamon sounds, I guess. And the last item from the kitchen is something that I found uh, and I am considering cleaning it, you know, washing it. This uh, filter, it's, a, it's for a coffee filter thing. Um, I don't know about you, but this looks like kind of a hazard for me uh, to use generally, but just for the giggles, I wanted to feature it in this video. And I'm gonna just tap on it and, you know, take it apart and show it to you. Um, so, the, that's the first part of the video that we're gonna have. And the second part is something that was requested, and it's a what's in my bag video. So the second part of this video is about what's in here. This is my bag. Uh, it's just a simple little tiny backpack kind of thing, because on the back you can, it has these, you can put it on your back like little school bag and it's rather small and I don't keep a lot of things in here but I did put all the things that I do carry with me when you know the the rare times that I go out so uh, I'm gonna do some bag leather sounds and strap stuff and show you the interior of the bag so um, if you want to see the bag part skip to this uh, minute. Uh, if you want to see the kitchen items first, just keep watching. 
Okay, let's start with the chopsticks. So, I'm just gonna get a little closer. Okay. So, I'll just be quiet now. And focus on getting little tiny bits of dust from your face. like to point out that it's pretty windy here today. I have my window just open just a slice, but I bet you can hear this. The wind, it's really intense today. So, I hope you don't mind the wind in the background. move on to the next item, which is the tongs. Now, again, like before, I'm not going to speak while I'll grab things, grab things from your face, is that a thing? Anyway, <clears throat> let's make it a thing. I'm going to take a, I don't know, random bit of uh, Um, dust again. You've got lots left and maybe a bit of uh, fabric fluff. Yes, you have fabric fluff on your face. That's it. Just roll with it.
now that we picked little bits and bobs from your face, we're going to brush whatever's left with this magical silicone brush. And there's dust flying in the air. Okay, so... Makes the weirdest sound. move on to the cupcake holder things. And many of them. And this is how one looks on its own. sound better all together. Like the big iron ball.
see it's one of those days that everything is really quiet. So I'm enjoying this, you know, like, better than usual because I, when there's too much noise around, like, from the computer, the background noise or TV noises or cars, I can't focus on the sounds I'm recording for you. Today I can. It's not tingly for me right now, but it might be later. Again, sorry for the name. Look pretty. Cupcake hat. maker filter thing. So, this is glass, really thin glass. It sounds almost like plastic, but it's not. It has a little metal part here. filter right here and I've never used one of these but I would imagine that you put the uh, coffee um, in here and then you pour water and then you uh, slowly pull it up kind of have a different way of making coffee, uh, so I don't really worry about this thing. I'm so sorry. I had no idea this would happen. Let's forget that happened. Alright. That was, well, that concludes the kitchen part of the video, the kitchen items part. I hope you enjoyed that part. And now we are moving to the what's in my bag video part of this thing. So, this is my handbag, or backpack, basically. It is really pretty. I fell in love with it the moment I saw it. I got it a few months ago. It was pretty cheap, so it's nothing fancy. I'm not a fancy girl. Um, it has a nice, thick... Uh, fabric 
and from the inside it has a different pattern. It has two exterior pockets that close with a clasp, a magnetic clasp right here, somewhere. And it's perfect for change. And other than that, it has a leather strap that you can use it as a backpack. And that's how I wear it. Because I have my hands free like that when I walk around town. And here it has a little um, hanging hang hanger part. I'm bad at this. So here, it's a pretend clasp. Well, it is a clasp and it opens and then you have to untie this. As you can see, it's already in poor condition. But it's okay. I don't mind. And then it opens up and we're gonna see what's in here. So, ah, uh, first of all, I forgot to say that the key of this bag is the owls on top, like all the owl patterns and faces. Um, I have a friend who would say something very impolite to these owls because he doesn't like owls because reasons. You know who you are. <laughs> and had to make that joke, I'm sorry. Uh, so we move on to the interior of the bag. Now the first thing that I'm gonna pull out of the bag is my mermaid notebook and my ship pen that Lucy, my friend Lucy, sent me recently. And that is because I love to write when I'm out. I go to sit at coffee places and I write. And it's not like a diary or anything, I just write my thoughts. Um, I, you know, like if you saw a video that I made recently, the mime story, it's something that's written in this. It's uh, just me noticing some people on the street and writing about it. So I have added this little elastic band so that it keeps the notebook closed and keeps its shape decent. So, this is the first stuff that is in my bag. The second item is naturally my wallet, which is empty. Well, empty of money. Um, but it has some compartments here and some random cards, you know, and my ID, and I have a picture of me here when I was a kid, um, and I also have a ticket from a concert that I went to some years ago, so, um, I'm going to take out the ticket so you can see the picture. Uh, so this is this is me when I was two, three. Uh, hold on. Here. Okay. Yeah. I think you can see me. All right. Sorry for the clip, but I was running out of memory, so I had to delete some other stuff. So, uh, you saw me as a little toddler, and, um, yeah, uh, and, oh, I forgot, uh, this is the ticket from, uh, the live that I went to a few years ago to see my favorite band. And I'm keeping this as a memory in my wallet. And um, 
I just keep it like this most of the time. So that's the wallet. And the next item is my actual wallet, which is this one. I love it because I love this old style and I love, well, it needs a wash, but I've had this for years. I've had it for like, what now? It's been definitely five years, might be six, but definitely five years that I have this. And I bought it from my college town. It says Rebella on it. And on the inside, I have some monies. <laughs> and on the inside, I just want to show you the pink polka dot. Um, interior and some coins and that's the actual lot. The third item that I always carry with me when I'm outside is my digital recorder slash mp3 player and I always keep this with me because I like to listen to music when I'm outside and occasionally record something random. So this um, is where you put the headphones and this is where you can uh, plug in an, a microphone and it also serves as an mp3 player and it also has a tiny speaker and this was a gift from my dear friend Chris and I use it every day for the past entire year because I've had it I've had it one year exactly a bit more than a year so I, I take good care of it so this is my item number three four from the bag something and the next item in here is My pocket watch. I don't always carry this with me, but sometimes I do when when I need some extra luck and happy energy, because this pocket watch means the world to me. It was also a gift, so it's usually in my bag. So that's on item number something. And naturally, the next item in here is spare makeup supplies for emergency situations if I'm outside. So I have the powder, brushes, mascara, backup, and my lip balm. Uh, yeah, so... Put some on you. Okay. Yeah, I know it's used, but this is YouTube. You can't get any germs from YouTube. Yet. And I also have my lighter with me. I made the case myself with polymer clay many years ago. And I don't smoke, but I find it very, uh, very useful to carry a lighter with me. No, not for putting fires on f in forests, no. Uh, not, not that kind of useful, I just, you know. Many a time people come up to me and say like, do you have a lighter? And I'm like, I feel so bad if I say no, so I carry it with me. That's the legit reason I carry it. And I just have my little um, pencil, eye pencil, and let me see, uh, so this is the empty version of the bag, it has some compartments in here, somewhere, uh, yeah, okay, there's one. 
has a whole separate layer so you can clean it. Dusty, dusty stuff. Okay, so. It's relatively clean though, I promise. So I'm just gonna put everything back in here. Because I'm going out tomorrow to do some shopping, among other things. And it doesn't hurt to have my bag ready, does it? Okay. Right. So then we just tie it up like so. And clip it. And it's ready to go. So, thank you for watching this uh, silly little video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you got some tingles from either of the two parts of this video. Now, my leg fell asleep, so I'm just gonna end the video now, and I'm gonna wish you a beautiful, beautiful day, and I'll see you in my next.